Are you ready to enjoy some stargazing with a modern quilt layout? I'm so glad that you're here for the Meteor Quilt Along. Hi, I'm Andy and this is True Blue Quilts, a place to enjoy, experiment, and excel as you quilt. And we are diving into a six week journey to make this modern quilt called Meteor. You can find the pattern in the True Blue Quilts shop as a digital download. I'll provide the link in the video description below. As we get started, the first thing you need to do is decide on your colors and buy your fabric. So let's take a look at the original quilt. We are working with two basic color families, our blues and our purples, with just an accent of that green and the white background. So you can, of course, be as scrappy as you want with your background colors. You could do the whole quilt in one background, or you can play with the negative space like I have done in the original sample. Some key elements to think about when you are planning your color scheme are these four patches. The four patches show up in every block of the quilt and so that can be a consistent element in your scrappy quilt or it can provide a pop of color. I have used the green rectangles as an accent color but again that could be a different shade of purple it could bring in some more of the blues if you wanted to have a more coherent solid looking quilt uh, color story. I have seen some wonderful versions of the Meteor quilt done with an accent fabric, a, a bold print here, and that would give you a place to draw some other colors for the other blocks if you had a print going on in the background. And with these larger blocks, that would be a fun place to showcase some big bold graphic print fabrics. One of the fun elements of this Meteor modern quilt design is the deconstructed blocks. We get very intricate with a couple sizes of triangles here that morph and disappear uh, just as a meteor shooting through the atmosphere is burned away to its core, we've deconstructed the blocks all the way down to a simple four patch. Now that you've had a look at the overall design, let's dive into some specific color options using our coloring pages and then a actual fabric pull. Before shopping for fabric, it is useful to have your color story in mind. And to help with planning that, I include coloring pages with all of the True Blue Quilts patterns. So this is the coloring page for Meteor. And I've got my fancy set of colored pencils here. And I'm just going to pull out the uh, reds, yellows, oops, that one's too pink, the orange there, and got to get the blues. I am going with patriotic here. A lot of times if I'm doing a quilt along or, you know, a charity project, I will make it in patriotic colors, red, white, and blue, because that's a pretty common color scheme that will work for any gender, and most people enjoy those colors. So starting with the coloring page, you can see the different blocks that are included in this pattern, and they all have that four patch. So that's what I'm going to work on first. And sticking with the original idea, I'm going to use two shades of blue in my four patch. And I'm just going to color this main block 
with my colors because that carries through the rest of the pattern. So I've got my lighter blue and I'll use the darker navy blue as my other accent there. And I want to see what this quilt will look like with a light background. Um, this yellow, like a yellow and orange streaking through the sky would be pretty cool and keep with that meteor theme. So I know with this pattern that all these outer triangles are part of the background color in this quilt. So I will put those in, in that color, and then we can go to our reds. And I want this big triangle to be that darker color. And then I'll go ahead and color this orange. Of course, when you go to select the actual fabrics, you can get as scrappy as you want. You may change the tone of the colors from your sketch and decide to do something different. So once you have the first block colored, then you can carry it through and I was gonna see how these different blocks looked with with that yellow background. And then in this block, we are keeping our pinwheel going this direction. So this would be background. And then these rectangles are background and the four patch would all be colored in background. So where the original pattern calls for three different colors of background, you can make your quilt with a single background color. And our large triangles were red, once you get the blocks colored in, you can go then through the pattern and I would recommend either making notes in the margin or make, it, uh, make a copy of the original pattern that you can mark up and put your new color selections in so that you know your colors next to each of the diagrams in the pattern and that will make your sewing process much faster if you don't always have to translate. Okay, so for that big purple triangle, I'm actually using red. If you've got it marked there, you can just follow your own directions. A little bit of planning, your future self will thank you. So there is a version done in patriotic colors and you can choose fabrics that work with that color story. Next we'll take a look at some actual fabric. Here are the fabrics I have chosen for the Meteor Quilt Along. So let me talk through how I selected my fabrics. I knew I had the dark blue in the corner and then the turquoise. So as I was looking at the fabric store, this print jumped out at me. It has all the colors that I wanted in the quilt. So it was a good choice as the focal point, the inspiration for the quilt. So that is the background for those uh, corner pinwheel blocks. And then the turquoise section was the largest section and I really like that light, lighter blue. I didn't go 
that dramatic turquoise and you can see how nice that blends with that fabric. I stayed with the same manufacturer, Island Batik, for all of these colors. So it, it helps when you are putting colors together if you stay with one manufacturer because they tend to use the same shades in multiple fabrics so things coordinate a little bit easier. And then I knew that the rest of the quilt was going to be white. I didn't want a completely flat white fabric so I chose this light blue that has a little bit of texture on it with that print. So those are the three main backgrounds for my blocks and then it is just a matter of playing with the other accent colors. I had colored in the sample with some dark greens so I can play with that a little bit and there is the darkest green and uh, that is a real foresty dark green that plays well with the dark blues here in that fabric and I have a lighter green print that I am going to pair with that so that will be a fun accent and then I needed a another shade of green so I like that bright pop and then my center squares will be that blue and yellow combination again I wanted a lighter mix of those colors to really pop so the blue and yellow will carry through all the squares because that becomes the four patch this green will be the rectangles in one half of the quilt that then becomes the darker green triangles. And you can see how everything coordinates nicely with that center focal fabric. So you just kind of play around, make sure everything looks good wherever it is placed in the quilt and has enough contrast. What colors would you put in the Meteor quilt? I'd love to hear your selections. Please leave me a comment below this video. Do you want to learn more about using angle play to make half rectangle triangles? I explain more in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. We'll be back next week with more of the Meteor Quilt Along. Happy quilting!